Welcome back everybody, this is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique, and in today's video we're going to talk about the whoosh effect and why you don't see any drops on the scale when you first cut your food. Alright, that was a long intro. <laughs> That was a bit of a mouthful than what I normally do. I hope you're all having a fantastic week here um, and just enjoying some sunshine in the summer. It's a fantastic time to be alive. Uh, before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and that way you're not missing out on any awesome future content. So today's video topic is brought to you by a client of mine, a question that she had. Um, Rashna. So we just started a mini cut here and we did an initial cut on food. We've been reversing for a while. We have spent the time building our food, building some muscle, all of the good stuff that you need to do before a diet. We were ready to start a mini cut, you know, four weeks. Let's drop a few pounds and then let's get back into the reverse here. And I thought this would be a great topic to talk about uh, because the very first week we were quite aggressive. We went 40 calories, or it's not 40 calories, 40 grams of carbs and about 5 grams of fat. Uh, and we did be a little aggressive with the cardio as well. Maybe, maybe a little more normally aggressive than we would be when someone is starting a longer diet. Well, first week went by and no changes at all on the scale, which, you know, is pretty odd considering how long we've spent time reversing um, and what we have done to get prepare ourselves for this mini cut. We've done all the right things. And so why does this happen? And I think we'll see it a lot of times when that first week of the diet hits. Um, we just tend to see no changes. It's like the body's like, well, I don't know about this. I don't think we're gonna be dieting and, and, and dropping any uh, body fat right now. And it can be frustrating. Uh, you know, you've put in all this work, you're excited to start your diet um, and drop a few pounds and see some of the changes you made and then you don't see any changes on the scale. It, it is a mental mind game. The scale is a huge mental mind game, not just when we reverse diet, um, but when we diet, especially when we diet, because we would love to see that linear progression of fat loss, right? You know, 0.25 pounds or whatever every day, and you see that, you know, that pound a week, two pounds a week, and it's just beautiful. <laughs> the sun is shining, birds are singing, and we drop all the body fat. Unfortunately, um, fat loss is not linear. Uh, that would be fantastic if it was. It'd be a lot easier to drop body fat, that's for sure. Um, so we'll see this, you know, typically that first week or two of dieting, you can see it throughout the diet as well um, when maybe the body gets a little bit more stubborn, but this is called the whoosh effect and it isn't technically a real, like it is some, probably something, it's more of a theory and, and kind of an idea, but do tend to see it quite a bit and it does make sense on a certain level um, in terms of like why isn't the scale moving but maybe you're seeing changes on the uh, in your physique first so let's say we've started we've you know we've done the whole thing we've reversed we've done all that we've gotten ready for the diet now it's time to start dieting so we when we diet we are just decreasing the size of our fat cells we're not actually losing fat cells you keep pretty much the same amount of fat cells that you have kind of throughout your life. Um, there's actually, you can actually probably gain fat cells, um, but that is a different topic for a different day. And so basically what we're doing is we're just trying to get all the triglycerides off the cell. It's going to shrink in size. Therefore, you are going to lose body fat. You are going to look leaner. That's also why we actually tend to look more jacked when we get leaner because we're getting rid of all that space kind of in between the tendons, ligaments, you know, joints, all that kind of stuff. And so you actually do tend to look actually a little bit bigger, but that's essentially what we're doing when we're dropping body fat. So the whoosh effect and the theory behind that is, is that as the triglyceride cell or triglycerides are leaving the fat cells when we start that dieting phase, some water might actually come in to replace that. Why? We don't know. <laughs> Just a theory at this point. I'm sure there's a lot smarter people out there that probably know the why, but unfortunately I don't. Uh, we may not have even found a why yet. Uh, something to definitely look, take a look at. But So it kind of holds, and because there's weight on water, that cell is going to kind of hold its weight here. And so you're actually not going to see those changes that are occurring you know, on the scale. So the biggest thing that we can do and, and, and take a look at is what is the body composition doing? So this is where pictures can really come into handy, right? 
if we can see some subtle changes of the physique, like, hey, we are maybe looking a little bit leaner, or, you know, we didn't see this line last week, now we can see this line this week. Let's hold steady, because we are, you know, potentially seeing that drop on the scale coming. Um, and so that's where, you know, as, as important as the scale might be sometimes, uh, it's not the only tool that we need to use. And rely on we should be relying on pictures what you look like you know do we see changes coming and then typically that person will wake up um and all of a sudden like we're down you know whatever three pounds on the scale two pounds on the scale and even if you've been holding steady all week you just kind of feel like it's coming right and so that is um you know the whoosh effect and that's maybe potentially why you you know you don't see any drops initially uh when you make that kind of that first cut to jump into a diet or a mini cut prep whatever um just because the body's feeling a little stubborn at that point and not quite ready to make those changes but we see those changes in the physique and then we will see those changes on the scale don't ever really try and overthink it you are not losing weight because you are not in a caloric deficit. That is what matters. It's not, you know, gonna be hormones, anything like that. It's gonna be you, because you're not in a caloric deficit. Now, where that is, that's different for different people. It could be really low, it could be really high. You know, it depends on a lot of factors. But that is probably one of the reasons that you may not be seeing, you know, an initial drop from on the scale when you make that initial cut is we just kind of are waiting for this whoosh effect and then we kind of start to see the scale we kind of start to move a little bit more and we kind of get into a good rhythm of the diet where okay now we are being a little more linear throughout the weeks um, as we see that scale to drop start to drop and we start to see that comp body composition start to change a bit as well so again try not to overthink it um, you know sometimes the body just likes to be a little stubborn be a little resistance to change uh, especially when it comes to a little bit of fat loss it could be just holding on to some things um, when you start that give it some time take a look at your changes in your physique over the week uh, you know and if you're starting to see hey like you know what like I'm looking leaner hold steady wait for that drop to come you know it might take two weeks but it should come because it's all about creating that caloric deficit, and as long as you're in a caloric deficit, you know, we should start to see that drop. So, still waiting to see that drop here with Rashna, although I'm guessing that it'll come quite quickly and come here soon. But if it does not, all right, well, we just continue to make changes, be maybe a little more aggressive, and try and get into that caloric deficit so that we can squeeze some pounds out. The reality is, is that some people are just going to have to dig a lot deeper than some people to drop body fat. Is it fair? No. Unfortunately, your body does not care. <laughs> so that's gonna be everything for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you would be so awesome, please hit that subscribe button. Would greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. We'll chat soon.